Yes, that's right. You see it. New York City. The location is the Boogie Down Bronx. We are back for Friday Night Smackdown. We just saw an advancement in the AWF World Championship Tournament. Angron picking up the win. And we have more action here tonight. Lilith coming out with none other than Angela. In my opinion, the greatest women's champion to ever step foot in that AWF ring. But now she's passing on some of her tutelage to this new competitor, Lilith. And, you know, I can't lie. I can't lie, Agent A. I will say, mm -hmm. I apologize. I apologize to Lilith for mistaking her for one of those freaks in the query. Oh. I apologize, but it oh. seems like Lilith's demeanor is quite a bit different. She Very takes, different. She takes this business seriously, and I appreciate that. And you don't think this woman making her way to the ring oh, takes no, no. this business seriously? I certainly do. But the crowd she aligns herself with are a bunch of misfits and a bunch of morons, especially that one King Mister. He really gets on my nerves. Look, they, that is that, in the words of the people, is that not the best team? They, 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 they're a group, they have synergy. And, you know, here the pebble makes it, you know, she, she keeps them all level-headed. They, they, level they've got about as much synergy as Shaquille O'Neal on the Celtics, okay? That's, that's, that's what they're in line with. That's what I'd compare them to. But if that's Shaquille O'Neal on the Celtics, then we are looking at the Kevin Garnett. We are looking at the crown jewel of this team. What an analogy you use, my friend. None, what an analogy other, you use. none other than the pebble. Well, look, she makes things happen for the query, and I think she doesn't get enough appreciation for that. I'm letting you know right now, your boy Kilgore is a cold T-Mac, probably on his way out. You know, you know, can't quite win past the first round type shit. Anyway, can it, uh, the pebble, the AWF Women's Champion, she says, bow down. She has that crown on her head, Lilith. Looks at her with venom in her eyes. Ready and you to know, strike. Queen Spears, wherever she is, is definitely. Oh my goodness, look at those kicks. Look at those kicks. Those are some hard shots. Very much so. That's that Taekwondo, karate, whatever you want to call it. That is. Those are beautiful forms on those kicks. And then right Down there. on the back right there. And that's why the pebble is the queen. That's why she has the crown because. She knows how to take advantage. And the Pebble's being disrespectful, if you ask me. That's just turning your back on an opponent like that. You're not supposed to do Oh, it. my God. I caught a flush right in the mush right there. And then a kick. No, excuse me. Reverse that kick. And the Pebble was trying to. And she's going to do it again. Oh, my gosh. The Pebble, was, Pebble is trying to maybe recuperate, switch gears here. Oh, oh my and a drop kick in the back of the head. And a flip. Lilith. There are some lethal strikes from Lilith right now. Now I bet my bottom dollar no member of the query could do something like that. And here we are. Shots and to the, the back. Continues repeated shots. Repeated strikes and whatnot. Wearing the champion down. And, and hoisting the champion up. But the Pebble has to get out of that hole. That would have been very bad. That would have been very bad. Oh my this goodness. This is drop kick. You got to believe you know, in the back of Lilith's mind, whatever that may entail, she is thinking to wear down the pebble for Angela. You know, if if the for moment Angela. ever the moment ever arises in which Angela wants to step up and reclaim her prize, her her baby in the AWF World Women's Championship. And you don't think that Lilith might not just take a chance for her damn self? Well, I mean, I don't know Lilith's intentions just yet, but you know, if she was a smart woman, which I'm pretty sure oh! she is. Oh my good. A spear. spear almost tore her in half. If she's a smart woman, as I was saying, Lilith, she would wait her turn. She would wait in line and learn and be under the learning tree and sap up some of that knowledge like honey from Angela and then make her her opportunity. Then stick her flag in the sand and become AD of World Women's Champion. I think, that, I think that's how you do it. Oh, tossed out of the ring. That's it, and then sprung out. Lilith has been very impressive against the champ so far. Pebble was able to get Lilith on the ground. Good way to keep her at bay for a little bit. You know, Pebble has made it quite known and, you know, said it in so officially. SmackDown is her home. SmackDown is her kingdom. And it seems so she intends to rule with an iron fist. 
Well, she's doing just that right now. Clamping down, stopping whatever momentum Liz has, slowing it down on the outside. That is just the Pebble 101. The count is at seven. You know, we often say... And, and the count is at eight. You often say that the superstars, the AWF talent, do not work by the hour. And while that is true, the Pebble will take as much time as she needs to dismantle and dismember her opponent. Speaking of dismantling, Looks had like a Fujiwara armbar. Look, 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 look at that. Whoa! Oh! I didn't know she was a break dancer. We'll break it down into a pin cover. One, two. Look, he's on and up. No, again, still not much known about this Lilith girl, but her and Angela have go go gotten close. And, you know, Angela, oh, great seeing Angela out here in her hometown of the Bronx, New York, at that. Yeah, just damn shame. It's not as a champion, now, is it? No, I think that was a little low, though. I mean, you got to give a girl credit where credit's due. She held that championship, and she raised the banner of the women's division over her head for a very, By very hardly long time. showing up to work. Yeah, whatever. But when you're the champ, you know, your schedule's a little bit different. You get to take more Yeah, and the Pebbles champ, her schedule hasn't changed. You get to take more days off. Still out here whooping some ass. Oh, two, you, get to, you, you, get to, you get to do more PR and media and press and answer questions. Oh, look at that. Whoa, and whoa. Hello, hello, showboating. The queen of the women's division sure does know how to adjust. And she's about to... Oh! oh a chop. Chop sends it down. Oh, my goodness. Flipping face buster. And into a pin cover. Here is one. Is this two, all she wrote? Three. Just and like that. The pebble shows us why she is our AWS women's champion. But and that, that was a clinic right there. You 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 cannot you cannot watch this match and not tell me that Lilith wasn't impressive in the early going. She certainly almost certainly, was. but the pebble is the pebble. Whoa. Pebble is the queen. I must relent. You are definitely right about that. But she did a lot of wearing down of that body, and the pebble is acting like she's not hurting right now. But when you get kicked that hard that many times, I mean, the pebble has, you know, the hell the pebble has done taking and some tanks. You know, she's uh, she's still probably just tanking through injuries. She's been injured a hell in the last couple of smacks, you know. Well, she's been, she's been taking a lot, but let me tell you, those injuries build up big by brick by brick. And before you know, you have a tower of hurt. I think Angela has her time to strike soon. Might claim that tower. I, I don't know. I don't know. But regardless, listen, we have more AWF SmackDown Friday night. We are on and up next.